St. Maria Goretti was born on October 16, 1890 in Coronaldo, Italy. She was called Marietta by her family. She was the daughter of Luigi and Assunta Goretti, and she has four siblings. In 1899, Luigi and his family moved to La Feria di Conca, 40 miles from home looking for a job. Luigi became a sharecropper in exchange for farming. His employer, Giovanni, allowed Luigi's family to stay in one of his houses. This house has two floors. Luigi and his family stayed in the ground floor. Giovanni Saranelli, a widow, and his son Alessandro lived upstairs. The two families helped each other. One day, Luigi was bitten by a mosquito carrying the malaria virus. Eleven days later, he died in 19,000. <laughs> Asunta prayed to God to give her strength to raise her children alone. Maria helped her. Maria was afraid that her father's soul might be staying in purgatory for too long, so she prayed. The rosary was tied in her wrist. In order for the Goretti family to survive, Asunta took her husband's place in the fields. In result, this made Maria as the second mother to her siblings. Their neighbor Giovanni have a drinking problem and he was prone to loud and immodest language. But he loved Maria like his own daughter. Maria also helps him with the chores. She never complains with the commands that he gave to her. Maria wasn't able to go to school, but she learned so much about catechism and she received her first Holy Communion in 1901 in the face of Corpus Christi. She usually attends masses and grew into a kind and beautiful girl. Asunta taught Maria about not having a sin at any cost. At the age of 11, Alessandro was then 19. He twice took advances towards her. Maria cried that it is a sin. Alessandro sometimes threatened her that he would kill her and her mother if she told anyone. We all know that depressed people have a reason, right? Alessandro was a depressed teen boy. When he was young, his mother died in a psychiatric hospital. He followed his dad's footsteps, like smoking. He was a Catholic before, but he left. Maria never fell into temptation, and that made Alessandro even more... <laughs> On early June, Maria was sewing clothes while her mother and siblings were in the farm. Giovanni sat down the stairs outside his home, saying he was sick. <laughs> Alessandro left his work and went back home. He sneaked silently inside Maria's house. He began attacking Maria. He got even more angry when she resisted. He directly stabbed her. Alessandro ran away before someone saw him. His father woke up because of the loud noise. When he entered the house, he saw Maria dead. Maria was still a little conscious. Giovanni then shouted for help! 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 Their neighbors gathered around and asked who did it. Maria then whispered that it was Alessandro. She was immediately brought to the hospital. The doctor said that it was hopeless. A parish priest was called and prayed in her last time. Maria was asked if she forgave Alessandro and she said, Yes. Her mother gave her a crucifix to kiss. Maria died on the next day, July 6, 1902 in Ituno, Italy, at the age of 11 and 8 months. The people around who gathered at her funeral were aware of the murderdom. Always 
man, I order Alessandro to be thirty years in prison. Since he is always an angry man, he was placed in a solitary confinement. He did felt sorry for the crime he did. He was in a lush garden. Maria came near to him, floating in the air, holding lilies. She was so holy that she was shining with light behind her. Maria gave lilies to him at a time, and they turned to flaming lights. She told him that his soul would be with her in heaven. After his dream, he felt too much, and he felt sorry. He called the bishop and repented his sins. After many years in prison, he went to Maria's mother, Asunta, and begged for forgiveness. But he was already forgiven for a long time. In 1950, gathered along by many people, Maria was canonized. It was so amazing, and they made a history because Asunta was the first mother who saw her child canonized. After her death, many miracles occurred, and Alessandra witnessed that. Maria Teresa Goretti is one of the youngest saints to be canonized. She is the patron saint of chastity, rape victims, girls, youth, teenage girls, poverty, purity, and forgiveness. Saint Maria Goretti, pray for us.